G'day folks, it's a nice little uh, bit of fun, I've got a damaged Acer television, I think it's roughly 32 inches, maybe 36 inches, uh, broken panel of course, I don't know if it was good to start with, I got this from the tip for pretty much nothing, oh I did get it for nothing, but I figured before I uh, strip it or use it for target practice we'll try something different and inject some cleaning solution into it. Uh, I'm using my uh, regular janitorial cleaner that I use for cleaning everything else in a pressure pack. I was thinking of using an aerosol but that would put too many gas bubbles into the uh, panel. I just want liquid and this cleaner is a mixture of uh, water, strong soaps, a uh, little bit of ammonia, a little bit of alkaline salts so it's partially conductive. Uh, should be fun. Now LCDs run at extremely low voltage so there's no real electrocution risk unless I flood the entire thing and get to the switch mode power supply on the back. But again, it's all on an RCD and it's all encased in grounded steel. So there's a very little risk of my electro me electrocuting myself. But again, don't try this at home. I do have a DVD playing on it at the moment. So that is working. I'll keep the audio off because it's a nice Fear Factory DVD and probably copyrighted. Instead, I have a pump pack full of solution and a modified nozzle, so well, let's see what happens. If I can get it in there. I think I did drill through the back glass as well, unfortunately, so it is going down into the backlight. <laughs> Give it some more pressure. It's kind of spreading out a little bit, but I might have messed up when I... Uh... Oh, look at that. Oops. beautiful. <laughs> it's going right down between the two layers. It's created a very nice rainbow effect. I'll give it that much. <laughs> it's washing, washing the liquid crystal away. Now it just looks like a giant ball sack. Or maybe a couple of tits. <laughs> yeah, it's washed all the uh, liquid crystal off the glass. as interesting as I was expecting but then we are just playing with liquids here. Compressed air is a little more fun. Where is that air gun? I think we need to finish it off when I can find my air gun. Washed all the uh, liquid crystal right back down to the bottom. <laughs> I have to say, it's an interesting effect. Yeah, that's even better. Because it's conductive, this layer here is going nuts. <laughs> well, I have to get some close-ups of this. 
It's pretty cool. This is a uh, liquid filled, well, foreign liquid filled LCD. Some of the pixels are still coming alive, probably because the liquid's partially conductive, but. Give it a top up. Remember, this liquid contains ammonia, alkaline salts, lots of soap, lots of water. It's jan janitor's cleaner called Shifty, and it works very well at shifting uh, liquid crystal. Yeah, see, I think. It I think there's too much in there now. <laughs> it's an interesting effect though. I like it. There's an air bubble in there now. <laughs> That's one way to finish off a TV. Be interesting to try an unbroken panel because that is still hanging in there. It's still connected to the teak on board at the top. Let's finish it. Ooh. Now that's separated all the layers. <laughs> it's running out onto the floor. <laughs> it's a good thing the electronics are in their own little pod on the back. And the teak on boards at the top, so there's really nothing down here apart from the speakers and the front panel. Worst case, it shorts out the power button and turns itself off. And of course, it's still 5 volts up here. All the uh, mains is up high at the top, and the main switch mode supply. I'm still trying to display part of the image. Whoops. Just blew out both layers. <laughs> no, that is split both layers. And it's not going to blow out. 
Pretty impressive though. Well, I think that one's dead, or at least parts worthy now. I'll gut it for spare parts and uh, we'll find a way to finish off the rest. Thanks for watching. I just noticed some residual liquid crystal running down the uh, side there. I wonder what a jar full of that stuff would be good for. The good crystal. It's an amazing invention. I'll bet you 99% of the people watching this are watching it on a monitor of the same technology. It's almost like artwork now. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.